Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2020 Acura MDX, we're gonna be taking a look at the Thule Hitching Post Pro for bike rack. So one of the big questions we get asked all the time in regards to hitch mounted bike racks is if you're still gonna be able to have full hatch access to the back of your SUV. Well, this does fold down out of the way and gives us the ability to do that. Down here, we'll have this pen and clip. And simply just pop that out. And then this actually drops down quite a bit. Definitely more than others available. So with it like this, we're gonna have a ton of space. We can open up the back of our MBX, grab whatever equipment, equipment excuse me, that we might need, and then out of the back here. And when we're all done, we can simply close up the hatch, raise our rack back into position, and reinstall that pin and clip. So my first impressions of the rack on the back of our Acura is I think it's a great fit. It looks really modern and kind of holds our bikes where we want it. It's gonna be a little bit further away from the back of our car and it's gonna hold it height wise about in that sweet spot. At least I would think. It's gonna keep our bike up off the ground but not so high that it's really going to block or obstruct our view whenever we're looking into our rear view mirror. It's gonna be a great way to carry around up to four bikes. With that being said, the way the rack works is very simple, very user friendly. It's gonna hold our bike down in three spots. So we have two straps here on the top two and a strap right here. And that's going to actually act as an anti-sway strap. That's gonna prevent that side-to-side -side movement. That way we don't have to worry about a bikes kind of banging around into each other as we're going down the road. That being said though, why don't we take our bike off, have a better look at the rack itself. So as I said, super simple. You just pull down on the straps and swing them out of the way. Same thing for this one down here and then we're able to slide our bike off. Now, one thing I've noticed with some of these four bike racks is a lot of times the arms here can be really wide, really spaced apart. Now, the problem with that is it can make getting your bike off kind of a challenge. You really have to kind of work it off. These arms are relatively narrow, and so that's an issue we're not gonna have to deal with. So the cradles here where a bike's frame is going to sit, it's kind of a hard rubber, so we shouldn't have to worry about them scratching up our bike's paint or anything like that. We're also gonna have a few grooves down there at the bottom. And those are there to accommodate for any cables. That way we're not gonna have to worry about them getting smashed or pinched, anything like that. One thing I am really impressed with is the straps. They're very thick, very durable. They kind of go back whenever you let the tension off. So I don't really see these holes getting stretched out too far over time or anything like that. And that's something you don't really see on a lot of racks that use straps similar to this. A lot of them are thin and just kind of chintzy. I do suggest so when you're not using the rack just to pop those straps back in place. Being that this is a four bike rack, it is gonna take up a little bit of space here on the back of your MDX. And to find out exactly how much, if I measure from our hatch, the very edge looks like it's going to be right about 43 inches so something you definitely want to keep in mind whenever you're swinging into your garage or maybe even a tight parking spot now the arms do fold down to free up some space and if you come here to this pen and clip you can just simply pull that out swing the arms down and you're going to want to reinstall that pen and clip if you do plan on traveling with it in this position but as you can see now, freed up quite a bit of room back here. Pretty compact actually. So I'll take that same measurement. And in this position, it's only going to be about 22 and a half inches. So with it like this, really don't see it giving you any issues when you do go to pull into your garage or even that tight spot. So the rack is going to work with those two inch by two inch receiver tube openings like we have here today on our MBX. But it can also work with the smaller inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter hitches. So gives us a couple of different options there. And it's going to come included with a anti-rattle bolt. And what that's gonna do is eliminate any slop or play here in the connection point. That's really gonna do a couple of things. It's gonna keep the ride inside of your MDX nice and quiet like it should be, and provide a little bit more of a smooth ride for your bikes as well. 
So to kind of give you an example on how that works, say if we're going down the road, hitting some bumps, you can see that the rack is moving with our Acura and not on its own. So at the end of the day, a rack you really can't go wrong with. This is very popular, especially with MDX owners, and I can see why. Not only does it look great, but it's nice and compact, and it's so well built, it should last you for a very long time. And if you're anything like me, you always want to see a product in action. So why don't we go ahead and load it up and take it on the test course and see how it performs. This is our test course. Let's start with the slalom. This shows side-to-side -side action, such as turning corners or evasive maneuvering. Then, onto our alternating speed bumps. This shows twisting action, such as hitting curbs, potholes, road debris, or even uneven pavement. Last of all, the solid speed bumps. This shows up and down action, such as driving through a parking lot or parking garage, or driving in and out of a driveway. And that'll finish up our look at of the Thule Hitching Post Pro 4 bike rack on our 2020 Acura MDX.